Round four in Super Rugby is starting to show its thorns or its flowers, whichever way you look at it. And we're down in Cape Town in the Western Cape of South Africa for the match between the local team, the Stormers, up against the Aguares. The players really lining up as Schickling held on to it. Yep, he has. No, it's been turned over. He's well held on in the end by Schickling. Nearly fumbled that one. And Salamano, who has got been penalized there for just falling over the top. As you would expect, Willemson knocks that one over. So there's a check here for a no-arms tackle by Franz Malahoma. It's a no-arms tackle first. Even though the mitigating factor is he's going down, he makes contact with the head. Unfortunately, it's a yellow. Yeah. Well, they can certainly call it a war of attrition, and it has been in this first half between uh, the Stormers and the Yaguares. Half-time scoreline then, Stormers 3, Jaguares 0. Kubeli. Well, here comes Janchis. Now it's a foot race. Can Buffalli catch him? I don't think so. Brilliant play that from the Stormers. Perhaps a little lucky that they'll take the five-pointer. And the bounce pass, normally a good pass on attack. They're working nicely for the Stormers and for Herschel Yankees. Too much pace for Buffelli. And put that try down to the brilliant Stormers defence. Wear them down is the call. At the breakdown point, make sure we win the delivery. Get it out quickly enough. It's well fielded by Valimsa. Great play from Valimsa. Ruan now. Has he got it down? Yep. Great initial work by the big boys. And the first up was Jamie Roberts. And then for me, it was that carry by Yaku Kutsia that got them to go forward. I was expecting. Well done, to maybe need right. quick hands there, Ruan now didn't expect the gap to open up like it did, but he had the pace to get him all the way. Perfect camera angle will show us that he's timed it to perfection. Yeah, another strong scrum, another penalty. What? Well, it doesn't need to because they've got to try. And a well-deserved one as well for the Aguares. I must say, the Stormers can count themselves lucky that this has been the only couple of scrums that have gone forward because Bruni certainly has looked dangerous when he has that ball in hand and, and going forward. Absolutely no problem. Straight through the middle from Miotti. But it is the Stormers who take this one, 17 points to 7, yeah, at Newlands.